In this video, we'll take a closer look at how the Task 2 essay is assessed. In other words, what criteria the assessor uses to decide what score you receive for your essay. Similar to Task 1, the examiner will assess your Task 2 essay in four different areas or criteria. Firstly, task response. In other words, how well you answered the question. Your essay should address the question and have a clear position, supported by reasons and examples. Secondly, coherence and cohesion. This means that your essay is organised logically and has a clear structure, with an introduction, a body and a conclusion. Your essay should be divided into paragraphs, with each paragraph having a clear central idea. Thirdly, your lexical resource. That is, your ability to use a range of vocabulary accurately and appropriately. And finally, grammatical range and accuracy, or how well you can use English grammar. Now that you know what criteria is used, let's take a quick look at an example essay. We can see from the question that we're looking at an essay about why countries host large sporting events, like the Olympics, even though they're very expensive. In this essay, you're required to give reasons and explanations. Below that, we can see a sample introduction response to this question. We can see that a lot of the key words and phrases from the question have been paraphrased in the introduction. Expressions like international sporting event, host, and the idea that this costs a lot of money, as is shown by the different coloured lines. Importantly, the writer has also indicated that in this essay, they will answer the question why countries compete to host these events, as is shown by the phrase, for various reasons. So already from the introduction, the assessor can see that this task response seems to be on topic and will likely address all parts of the task with clear reasons. Let's turn to the body paragraphs next. I'll give you a few moments to read these. In terms of cohesion and coherence, we can see that these paragraphs have a clear structure, with one central idea in each paragraph. The main ideas are introduced by the phrases at the beginning of the topic sentence of each paragraph. We can also see how this relates back to the essay question, by repeating and paraphrasing key words from the question. All of these techniques help create coherence and cohesion in an essay. We've talked a little about the first two areas here, that is, how to answer the question and how to organise your essay. So now let's briefly consider what the examiner is looking for in terms of your grammar and vocabulary. Let's start with lexical resource or vocabulary. Look at body paragraph one again. Notice how the writer shows that they have a wide range of vocabulary to describe the idea of prestige by using synonyms, that is, words and phrases that have a similar meaning. Also, some of the expressions used are less common, which shows a good lexical range. Now let's look at grammatical range and accuracy. In body paragraph two, you can see how the writer uses complex sentences and a range of grammatical structures, such as passive voice, and creates complex sentences with a subordinate conjunction, like because, to show that they have a good command of English grammar. Finally, let's take a look at this writer's conclusion. We can see how they've linked their conclusion 
back to the essay question again by paraphrasing key words and also how they've used the reference word these to refer back to the central ideas in their body paragraphs as well. All of these techniques strengthen coherence and cohesion. Looking at the essay as a whole, it was 290 words in length with four clear paragraphs. So, coming back to our assessment criteria, we can see that this writer has answered all parts of the question well. They have met the word requirement and given relevant examples and reasons to support their main ideas. They have organised their ideas logically and each body paragraph has one clear main idea with good linking between ideas. They've also demonstrated that they can use a variety of words and expressions with very few mistakes in spelling or word choice. And we can see a good range of complex sentence structures. Hopefully, you now have a good idea about how your Task 2 essay is assessed and what criteria the assessor will use when marking your essay.